The Aegis, I presume. Huh? Huh? Guards! My lady! Mehmet! Mehmet! What the hell is going on? Shell out? No, no idea! Stop this at once! Damn! afford to wait until they do, Zeke. The world must not be allowed to burn. The Aegis must be destroyed. Oh, no, you don't. Dromak, let's get Rex out of there. Roger. The ether energy. Ah! My lady! Ah! Please do not resist. My goal is only to destroy the Aegis. I have no wish to take your lives also. King Eulogiminos, I stand before you as a special envoy of Moradain. The Emperor sent me here himself. Do you realize what you are doing? I am quite aware and prepared to face the consequences. Prepared? I see you still speak like a commoner. What's that got to do with anything? Don't change the subject! What if I told you I act for justice? What are you trying to say? You could say, I'm doing this for all rest. Say what now? Follow me. This is... This is the legacy of our royal line. You can't be serious! Why? Father, why? It appears the flow of ether energy is being blocked off. Damn it! While we're doing this, Pyra is... We have to do something! There is no point, Rex. You're just wasting your strength. Both the walls and floor are built to withstand great force. We cannot make a dent in them. Let's calm down a bit, Rex. If we think calmly, we'll come up with something. <clears throat> hey, you lot, can you try to help us out here? Your efforts are pointless. The way they built this place, it's essentially one giant stasis web. Stasis web? Like those nets used in Torigoth. To lock drivers up together with their blades, and even leave us our weapons? They must have the utmost confidence. Perhaps we could break through given enough time. But by then it will be too late and the Aegis will be disposed of. Disposed of? That's all the more reason you should give us a bloody hand. I said it's pointless. <sighs> we won't get anywhere. With brute force, that is. Huh? 
So what now, my prince? This pisses me right off. Uh, say what? I said I'm pissed off. Doing it for the world, my ass. How self-serving can you get? How do you mean? This country's strangling itself to death with its own web of lies and excuses. But just maybe our chum could break it free. Rex could? No faith, eh? Hey, whatever. If you believe in him, my prince, I'm with you all the way. That kid's heart is pure. Too pure for his own good, sometimes. But isn't it our duty as adults to give him a little help with that? Probably. You know, this is what I like about you. This won't be easy. Oh, quit it with your drama! When is anything ever easy for you? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, that should do it. Preparations complete. What's going on, Tora? Oh, ho, ho. both drivers and blades. Use ether energy to deploy arts, yes? You can skip the lecture, Tora. Everyone knows that. But right now, friends cannot, yes? Yeah. There's something about this room. Oh, but Rex Rex and friends forgetting one very important thing. Hurry up, would you? Just spit it out, Furball. Could be friends forgetting Poppy is artificial blade? Why would we forget that? She's been with us all this time. Wait, I get it. Haritha Furnace. Rex correct. Thanks to friend Morag, Poppy now able to generate own supply of ether energy. Nothing Barrier can do anything about. Tora transfer crystal from Sword of Morag to Biter of Poppy. That crystal have enough energy stored for one use of arts. And Biter of Poppy use Earth Element. So, through synergy with Fire Element of Morag, power of arts is amplified. If we hit it straight on, I doubt the door can withstand that. Wait a minute, you stored energy in that crystal. How is that possible with a barrier? Aha! Lady Morag has not used a single art since we arrived in this place. What? I had my suspicions ever since we entered the palace. So, I secretly asked Tora to refrain from using any arts either. Whoa-ho-ho-ho! I see now. If our enemy's new poppy retains her power inside the barrier, they would keep us on a tighter leash. Exactly. Here goes. Step back. Hold up! If you transferred the crystal from the sword, what will you fight with? I can generate a new one from Bridget's core. <laughs> Don't tell me you didn't know about that. What? Seriously, you don't even know how blade weapons work. Give me a break. How would I know something like that? I've never lost or broken my weapon. Then I suppose I cannot blame you. Moving along, then. Tora, Poppy, please. With pleasure! Poppy power! Jet fighter! We the best! You made quite some noise, too. It won't be long before the guards arrive. Good point. Lady Pyra was taken below. Mayhap somewhere beneath the palace? Got it. <laughs> 